The House Committee on the Judiciary will come to order. Without objection, the Chair is authorized to declare recesses of the Committee to I object. Objection noted. Order in the room. Order in the room. Order in the Committee room. Obviously, I shouldn't have to remind everyone present that the audience is here uh, to observe, but not to demonstrate, not to indicate agreement or disagreement with any witness or with any member of the committee. No matter his party or his politics, if the president places his own interests above those of the country, he betrays his oath of office. The president of the United States, the Speaker of the House, the Majority Leader of the Senate, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and the Chairman and Ranking Members of the House Committee on the Judiciary all have one important thing in common. We have each taken an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. If the President puts himself before the country, he violates the President's most basic responsibility. He breaks his oath to the American people. If he puts himself before the country in a manner that threatens our democracy, then our oath, our promise to the American people, requires us to come to the defense of the nation. That oath stands even when it is politically inconvenient, even when it might bring us under criticism, even when it might cost us our jobs as members of Congress.